back to the show. I'm so excited because you know my first guest from the Hangover movies and the Daily Show. He's a wonderful man who now stars with Owen Wilson in Father Figures. Please welcome my friend, Ed Helms. <laughs> Sunshine. Aww. And a fellow Southerner. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Atlanta, Atlanta or suburbs of Atlanta? Atlanta. No, oh, Hotland and GA. I grew up right in the middle of it. Right, right on Peachtree Street. Almost. At the varsity. <laughs> yeah, I was born in a fry in a French fry vat. <laughs> in at the varsity. Wow, right in the basket right there. Right there. They salted you and gave you back to your mom. I'm a Southern fried baby. <laughs> Okay, so we got we got the office, we got the hangover, uh, but but the thing people recognize you for, I'm sure. They stop and go, hey, wait a second. And Helms, you're the voice of Captain Underpants. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that is. But, but hold on. That's, that really captured you. Yeah, really well, captured that looks you. like a Southern Pride baby right there. <laughs> that does. That, uh, that's not what I get recognized for really? so much. But uh, uh, I think I look good. I've seen you in your uh, underwear. Okay, that's uh, true. Democratic yeah, convention. but you know what's funny? Actually, uh, my, my, my friends who have kids, yes. they, uh, they send me pictures of their kids dressed up like Captain Underpants, which is so adorable. But also, my phone is filling up with pictures of children in their underpants, and I'm not comfortable with that. No, no. So please, stop sending me these pictures. Exactly. You can't exactly say to the policeman, no, but I am Captain Underpants. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm Admiral Handcuffs. Get in the car. Oh, boy. So you tell them right now. You want to give, give a message to everyone out there? Don't send me the photos? Yeah, no more. Okay, no more. that's good. No, thank you. Now, uh, as I said, we've known each other a long time. Get along great. Yeah. You know, oh, Helms did, Colbert. Did, we, we, we had a little... Uh, we had a little disagreement, you and I, at the Daily Show. Are you thinking about what I'm thinking about? I, th I think so. Has to do with this? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we let's get into it. Let's, let's solve this. Why don't you explain? You want me to explain or you explain it? I'll take a stab at it. Okay. At the Daily Show, our offices were adjacent, and down the hall, our, the restrooms were single occupancy, and they didn't have any indicator if anyone was in them or not. They had a lock. They had a lock, but, but, but no sort of vacancy sign. Yeah. So, so what do you do when you go up to the door? Well, you, you No, knock. no. This is what, that is so you wrong. Knock. No, you see if no one's in there. Steven, you check the, the, the handle. No, if it's you locked, you walk away. Why would you knock? Because then the person has to answer while... While poo is coming out of them. Oh, no, is, we don't know. We don't know if that's what it is. It could, it's, I never do the Daily Show. I would go to a restaurant. <laughs> now, no, here's the deal. Here's why you don't do that. Okay. okay? Because All right, when me. the jiggle happens, okay, back me up. When the jiggle happens, it, you could go, oh, wait, did I lock the door? Did I remember? Is the door lock working? Did I snick it all the way shut? That, that jiggle sounds like the door's about to open. Now it doesn't sound anything like door opening. This sounds like the beginning of door open, and you panic. No, you pitch off the stream, and you can't start it. No. <laughs> no. Here's why you're wrong. Guilty. No. Guilty. Guilty. Here's why you're wrong. Because when somebody knocks, and then you have to answer, and you say, sorry, I'm in here, then, then they know who you are, no, and then you no, answer like that. that. But then you have to go into a meeting with them um, two and minutes later, and, and, and you're human, and you're in the bathroom. bathroom. But they also, yeah, they just, they're, they, they, they know that, the bathroom. They know that you're the one who, who probably, yeah, just left an odor, or who knows what. Who knows That's what? That's your first problem. I don't leave an odor. You don't? <laughs> no, no. Holy. Really? Yes, you do. <laughs> I went so far, this is how bad of a person I am. I went so far as to put a sign on the outside of the door that said, knock. Yeah. And on the inside of the door, I put a sign that said, if someone knocks, respond. Yeah. And it was really just at so you. I, that message was <laughs> at you. So I'm alive. Well, certainly there are other things for us to talk about. Sure. Than bathroom okay. humor. Again, I hope Nana has joined us for the evening. Okay, you got a show on Comedy Central coming up, which is extraordinary. It's called The Fake News with Ted Nelms. Ted Nelms. What is that? Well, it is a totally fake news broadcast. Uh, you're working for CNN. You're working for CNN. Well, it's funny. It's, I'm working for TFN, the fake TFN? news. Okay. Yeah, so that's our fake sort of network, and it's uh, it looks just like CNN. It looks just like you know Fox News, MSNBC. Um, we just made it all up. There's, there's no actual news in it. So literally every story is made up. Every single story, and we throw to correspondents, and it's all. It's, is, is it recognizable? Like things about like the. Our president, or well, Russia, I, or Congress, or any kind record. of. It's sort of like uh, it's sort of like the Onion that way. It's sort of sideways of reality, oh, okay. but but um, but I'm in character as Ted Nelms. Mm -hmm. and it was not anything like Ed Helms. 
Uh, he's a lot like Ed Helms, but more like Wolf Blitzer, maybe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So terrible at his job. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's just a really silly... It's sort of like if Monty Python did the news. Okay. You've also got a movie called Father Figures. It's out December 22nd is the buzz on the street. Yes. What is this movie? Are you the father in this? No. No. I am a father, but it turns out Owen Wilson and I are fraternal twin brothers who find out that uh, our father, or who we thought... We thought our father had died when we were infants... And it turns out he's still alive and he's still out there, and we uh, we set out to find him. And 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 you you, you are a proctologist. I yes, I am also a proctologist. A, a proctologist? What did I say? Proctologist? Proct- Proct- I think you said the United Church. <laughs> You're a proctologist, <laughs> and uh, and you don't know who your father is. I, I we think our father died of colon cancer, which is why I became a proctologist in his memory. But it turns out that was all a lie, and we and, and we just we just find that out at the beginning of the movie. Okay. And what's happening in this clip? Oh, clip. We got the clip. Yeah, so we're just finding it out, actually, from our mother, played by the amazing Glenn Close. Okay. Jim? I spent my whole life trying to honor my father's memory. And you have. What memory? I stare at ass all day long because of a fictional man's colon cancer. Pete, could you pivot into plastic surgery or, or something less butt-related? I mean, you're really smart. I don't see why not. Kyle, how are you not freaking out right now? Hey, that's not fair. You can't tell people I'm no, freaking out. I want everybody to calm down, all right? I'm so sorry, you guys, but the light is going quickly. It's the last chance we're going to put us. Not a good time, Andy. Now, that was shot in Atlanta, right? Yeah. That was shot in my hometown. So that was shot in Hotland in your hometown. Did, did, was, your, was your mom there? Did she come by yes. the set and everything? Actually, my mom was on set almost every day. You could say she shadow directed this movie. <laughs> did she meet your fake mom? Quite close? Uh, she did, and it's funny because she was a little intimidated. I think she thought maybe Clinton Close might steal her son's maternal affection. Uh, but of course, mom got to set, and she's so, so lovely. She's the greatest. Everyone fell in love with her. And by the end of the movie, mom is like, Really good buddies with Owen Wilson. Wow. And I'm the jealous one. Like, Mom, you love my movie brother more than me. <laughs> no. But, no, it was great. It's, it's always fun having, having family around. It's, it's always fun to have Ed Helms here. Aw. Hey, you want to go use the bathroom later? <laughs> Together? Huh? No. <laughs> Ed, good to see you. Always a pleasure. Father Figures is in favor of December 22nd. Ed Helms. We'll be right back with Christopher Jackson, everybody. Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Now it's your turn to thank me. Click subscribe, and at the end of the next video, I'll thank you again.